Assalamu ladies, so today's video is going to be my hijab story slash journey. Um, this is something a lot of you email me about and have been asking me to do for a while and I just haven't got around to it. Um, but a couple of weeks ago I put a post up on Instagram so you guys can ask any extra questions. So I'll kind of explain how I got to where I am in terms of my hijab and then if you guys have got any questions that I haven't answered already, I'll go ahead and answer them. Um, so in terms of my hijab, it's not like something amazing or miraculous. Um, I guess it's pretty much the same as everybody. I tried a couple of times before to wear it. Um, I think the first time I was at school in sixth form, so I was what, like 17, 16 or 17. I wore it during Ramadan for a month and I wore it the following Ramadan as well, just for the month. Like, my intention was always that I'd wear it for the month and then I'd take it off. And some people were like, what is this part-time hijabi stuff? Like, either you wear it or you don't wear it. Um, but I really wanted to wear it, but at that time I wasn't ready. I went to, to be honest, I don't think it was that important for me to wear it then anyway. I went to an all girls school and yeah, fair enough, we had a handful of male teachers but most of the time you were with females anyway. Um, but the school that I went to, I don't know if this was the fault of the Muslim girls or the non-Muslim girls, but it was very segregated, like everybody had cliques and a lot of the hijabis just stuck together. Um, and I was, I was quite loud and got involved with everything and I always felt like people would treat me differently if I wore my, my scarf. There was a sort of certain stereotype in my school um, and I guess I stereotyped against hijabi girls as well the same way, which is really bad. Um, and I guess I'm seeing things from the other side now which makes me realise I wish I'd done things differently when I was young and I wish I had worn it to kind of, worn it full time to break that sort of mould and idea that girls in my school had. When I did wear it during Ramadan, a lot of people were like, surprised they'd like the non-muslim girls would be like but you're not religious like why do you wear it you you don't do this you talk to us you, you get involved in this how come you're wearing it so i think in terms of like educating other people it was a good thing so and i think my scarf has always been like that for me it's in it, i know it's obviously a commandment and it's to be more modest but for me it's always been a a form of like giving dawah to people as well because when people see you they meet you for the first time that's the first thing they see and instantly before you've even said anything before they even know your name they've made a judgement about you from the way you look. We all do it to other people and it gets done about us as well. And I, I constantly feel like I have a button on my hands because I'm having to break that stereotype and explain to the person that no, it's my choice and this is the reason I do it and I'm still me. Um, and I guess over the years, since I've been wearing it, it's got easier. Um, and I guess when people say to me, why do you still wear jeans or why do you still wear makeup? Does it not defeat the purpose of the hijab? Yeah, it kind of does to some extent, but for me it's not just about being modest it's about um sort of showing people that this is that i'm that i'm a muslim and that i'm committed to my faith and that i won't compromise on that in order to achieve other things if that makes sense i'm going off on a tangent anyway back to the story my hijab story so i wore it a couple of times and i really struggled um i wanted to wear it full time and i think the thing that stopped me was that i was doing things that weren't 100% right, 100% Islamic, 100% halal and where I live it's a very small town and there's certain girls that would wear the scarf and then be the complete opposite of what a good Muslim is when nobody was looking and I didn't want it to, because I knew I was doing things that weren't correct I didn't want anybody to say if she's only wearing it to pretend like she's good or she's only wearing it because her mum makes her or any of those reasons I wanted it to be for me when the time was right and I felt like I had to eliminate anything that I was doing that was incorrect before I could wear it and I think once I started uni and I started surrounding myself with sisters that were wearing it, once I was in London and people walked past and didn't give a shit whether you were walking naked or whether you were kind of head to foot, it made me realise that actually nobody cares. It's me, it's my decision. And I, in my head I realised that when I, I'm never going to be ready, I'm never going to be perfect enough to wear it. You know, you think I'm going to stop doing this, I'm going to stop doing that, I'm going to stop doing that. And then I'll wear it, but that never happens because you'll always be doing something wrong. We're human at the end of the day and we sin and we're prone to it. Um, so I think wearing it now, even when I wasn't, I, now I'm not perfect, but wearing it then, when I was still doing things that weren't 100% correct or I wasn't doing the things that I should have been doing, uh, really, really helped me to improve my character, to improve me Islamically because I took that step and then I felt like I had to kind of upkeep that, like I didn't want the job just to be an appearance, I wanted it to be behind because I know a lot of people wear it but then they don't pray or they don't do certain things and I never wanted to wanted it to be like that so when I started wearing it it really really helped me and um, to improve my salah to improve in like my behavior when I was out in public and the things that I was doing and the way that maybe I conducted myself and spoke to the people the things that I wore because I was so 
um, aware of, of the way I was dressed and the fact that other people would form an opinion on, on a whole religion or, or a whole race, because you could get religion and race confused, um, based on maybe my actions. So it really did help me kind of improve my character. I wore my scarf three years ago this August. Um, it was during my second year of uni. Was it my second year? Beginning of my third year, so what, the, the summer break for my second year, I went back into third year and I was wearing my scarf. Um, one of my friends wore it before me the year before, so we both weren't wearing it the first year. She wore it in second year and I wore it in third year. And I think seeing her wear it really, really helped. She's like really bubbly, really loud, will talk to anybody. And um, when she started wearing her scarf, that didn't really change. And I just made I, it gave me the confidence that just because I choose to dress differently, to dress differently doesn't mean that other people will treat me differently. And I was really, really lucky because that my uni is like really, really multi, really, really multicultural. There was loads of hijabis, there was loads of clubs and groups and stuff we could, that you could go to. There was parents where I met other sisters, and even the non-Muslims like at my uni, nobody treated me differently. Which I was, if I'm honest, really, really shocked about when I started wearing it. The fact that everybody just still treated me the same, I was like, wow. Um, but yeah, that's basically my hijab story. I don't know why I'm doing this way of voice. But I'll go onto the post on Instagram now and see what questions you guys have. Oh, my Instagram just crashed. Um, <coughs> and answer them if I can. Most of them, I think, have been answered already. So nine to seven. There's 97 questions. We're not going to get all of them, all of them done. Um, I'll try and answer as many as I can. When did you start wearing hijab? The age? So, three years ago. 20. I was 20. Um, what motivated you? I think... When I was younger, nobody in my family wore like the scarf, and as growing up, one of my cousins wore it. And there's like my mum would have always have her scarf on her head, but it wasn't like a hijab. And slowly, like all the women in my family started wearing it, and I think it kind of has a positive effect on you. Not in that I I never felt pressurised like from my family to wear it. Like they all know they know they all know how I, how I am, and they know that, that I would never be pressurised into anything. So it wasn't a case of that. It's just I think they were being a good example. Um, and I always had it in my head that I wanted to do it at some point and I just, one Ramadan, I woke up and I just thought it's now or never and put it on. What difficulties did you face? Um, none really. Um, at the time it was my ego. It was like 100% my ego, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look good, I'm gonna get judged, I'm gonna be treated differently, blah, 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 like a million things in my head. But now I look back, really they weren't struggles, like, at the time I might have felt like it, but no, they weren't. It wasn't hard. It was just a case of putting on and getting on with it. Did your parents force you to wear a hijab? No. Was it your choice to wear the hijab? Yes. I don't understand this whole parents forcing people to, like my family's never been like that. When, even in the past when I've put it on and taken it off, my mum and dad haven't said anything. They've always just supported my decision because at the end of the day, if they force me to do something and I don't want to do it, it's, it's not going to work out well anyway. All they can do is teach me and guide me, which is what they've always done. And I think that's worked out best for them and for me. What colour headscarf do you prefer wearing? Black. What's your opinion on volume volumed hijabs? Sometimes I see hijabs and they're like out here and I'm like, what are you doing? Like it just, you've got like a tiny body and a massive head. It doesn't look right. I understand why girls want some volume because when you have hair, you have some volume. And obviously I know that there's a deep where the Prophet peace be upon him said towards the end of time, when we're going to be like scantily dressed with is it two heads or camel hump heads or something. And I just think like, if it's small enough, if it's just because you're, it's your hair and you're wrapping something around it, I think that's fine as long as it's like not ridiculous. Did people see you differently when you started wearing a job? Not really. I don't think so. I think I was worried that people would see me differently because I saw people differently and that is the God honest truth. Like, I like stereotype people and that was a really bad thing of me to do. Um, and I, I think it was kind of to do with where I live and the school that I went to and, and the people that were around me. Um, at that time but now I look back and I just think the only reservations that I had are wearing the hijab because of what I thought people would think of me is because because I thought that of other people which was really really wrong. Um, Dima Zawina says how are you feeling the first time you wear hijab? Please say my name Gita. Okay I said your name. Um, first time I wore hijab how did I feel? I don't know I can't even remember. It was three years ago. I think at first it, it was exciting actually 
it was weird but it was exciting because I could go out and buy loads of new jobs and it was like a new accessory um, but now I don't really notice it, it's just become normal have you ever experienced prejudice towards you because you are a job? P.S. I love you. That's from APC Doodle. Um, a handful of times. I think in my, like, one time I was, like, in Windsor and some guy walked past me and I was, like, fucking most items and spat. And, like, he, like, said it under his breath, but I still heard him. And then I turned around and I was, like, excuse me, really loud. And then everybody looked at me and I just, that, like, that, I'd, after that I made a decision that somebody said something, just ignore them, like, it only it will only affect me if I let it affect me so there's no point letting things like that affect you but I think in our head sometimes we already think somebody is going to be racist or prejudiced towards us because of our hijab and then they do a certain action which they would have done anyway but then we blame it we blame it on society today and the prejudice prejudice that exists like last week I got pulled over because um, I was on the phone in the car um yeah let's not go into that but the copper that pulled me over, we had a discussion and he let me go. He didn't give me any points. When he was in the right to, he should have given me points. If I was holding my phone or using my phone, he should have. He should have given me points and he should have given me fine. And he didn't. He let me go. But if he had done, I would have thought in my head, well, if I wasn't running the job, maybe he wouldn't have. And I think sometimes our own prejudice against ourself like, goes against us. So I think we, if we want to get rid of that, we need to get rid of the stereotypes that we, we hold ourselves against ourselves, if that makes sense. So why do you wear hijab? Is it just to cover your head? This is a common misconception people have and I guess it, it, it's not wrong because it goes from the right thing, you're wearing a scarf and you're covering your head. But for me, it's more It's more than that. It's more than just covering my head. It's a constant reminder as to who I am every time I look in the mirror or every time I kind of move it. I know that it's there. I know that I've chosen to wear it and to chosen, my, chosen to cover my hair because it's what God has commanded. But it's not just this, there's other commandments as well and it's a constant reminder that I should be doing those other things as well um, and I feel like it brings me closer to God because even even at certain times of the month when you can't pray, you can't do certain things and you're still wearing it and you're still sort of fulfilling set your obligations towards your Lord, I feel like it grows me closer. How did you decide to wear it and were you 100% sure you were doing it for Allah? Um, I guess you're never 100% sure, I guess in the back of your head you're always thinking you're doing somebody else's approval but you know, there's so many people in my life that wanted me to do it before and I never did and I did it when I thought the time was right for me and when I wanted to do it for the sake of Allah alone. So I think when it's when you know in your heart that it's for him, you that you you do it. Um and if you think that if you're waiting for other people like your parents or someone else to say, Oh well done or something like that, then that's when you know it's not for for Allah alone and it, and it's to please the dunya. So I guess you know inside, deep inside. Um do you wear your hijab for fashion or because of religion? It's for religion, it's always been for religion, but obviously it has become a bit of a fashion accessory as well just because it's part of the outfit and I style it to match the outfit, but I always find that I'm making my outfits more modest than I was before I was wearing it and I feel like it's better that my head is covered than before when my hair was out um, because I'd still be doing the same thing, it's something that I love, I, I've always been into fashion, so is it not better to do something within certain boundaries than it is to exceed those boundaries, so that's how I see it. Um, what gave you the courage to make your final decision? Um, I don't really know what gave me the courage. I think one day I woke up and just thought I'm going to do it. I think you put it off for so long, um, and then I just realised that you know what, the longer I put it off, the longer I put it off, for the harder it's going to get. So I just need to get up today and do it. Um, would you feel more confident if you were living in another country? I don't think so. Like maybe if I was in a country where it was worn a lot more, then yeah. Um, but I think I've gotten over that initial lack of confidence, self-esteem issue that I had with the hijab and what people might think of me or what people might say. And I think now I'm just so confident in it that I forget that it's there, I'm just me and it's part of me. So I don't have the issue now, but maybe at the beginning, yeah, it would have been easy to be in another country. There's still loads of questions that I haven't answered, but I'm really conscious that this video has become so long. Um, so if you guys have got any like questions that I haven't answered in the video, make sure you leave them down below and I will definitely reply to them. Um, and yeah, that's it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you soon, Shah.